In today's lesson, we are looking at SQL, and this is the second part of this video series where we look at processing or doing queries in SQL, and it is a part of the Information Technology Grade 12 CAPS syllabus. In our previous lesson, we were looking at um, the basics of a query using a select statement. Um, just to remind ourselves about the database that we are using, which we're going to continue to use in today's examples. Um, let's look at the CD database. And if you remember, there is an owner table inside the database, which we aren't using just yet. But we are looking mainly at the CD table. And inside that table, there you can see the details. There's the CD ID, the artist, the CD name, the genre, the replacement value, and the owner ID. That owner ID is linked to data that's in the owner table, which, as I mentioned earlier, we'll look at in other videos when we deal with multiple tables in our queries. But for now, we're just looking at single table queries. Now, just also a recap about what a select statement includes. Um, the first part, we select what fields we want to display. In today's lesson, we're going to look a lot at all the fields, but so we can just use a star instead of typing out all the field names. But if you wanted specific fields, then you just have to list them, separating them by com a comma. So, for example, we could say select artist, comma, genre, um, instead of saying um, select star if you want specific fields but in our case we're going to say select star which means select all the fields the next part is we specify from which table those fields come from so we put that in the from clause which say from cd table or from the owner table okay and then the last bit is the conditions or filters that we are going to apply to that query and that we specify in the where clause so let's look at our first query. We're going to look at the following query where we select all the information from the CD table, but we only want where the artist is greater than M. So we're going to see what that produces. Uh, in the previous video, we looked at where the artist equal or where the genre equaled rock or where it didn't equal rock. But what happens if we use greater than or less than symbols with our text? Please also note that because we're dealing with text, you'll notice that we have to put it in. That's correct, double quotes. So let's try this example in our current database. As a reminder, we are doing all our queries in SQL. We will have other videos which show you how to apply these queries in Delphi, in a Delphi database situation. But for now, we're just going to apply them to a database straight in the database. So here is my CD table inside the CD database, and there's the owner table. We're going to go create a query, saying query design. And I will say, no, I don't want to say any tables. I just want to leave it like it is, a blank query. And then I will click on this SQL option over there so that I can get to the SQL code. And then I will say select star from which table we want from the CD table where the artist must be greater than M. But remember, M, we want to refer to it as it is, as text. So we must put it in double quotes. So if I run this query, it should give me all the names of the uh, records where the artist has the letter M or more. In other words, where they start with the M or greater than that. Um, so there you can see it's a muse and all that. There you can see all of these. There's no artist here that has that starts with a letter that's lower than an M. So there's no A's or B's or C's here. So that's what using greater than or less than symbols with letters means. Now, all these queries are great that we've just been doing, um, but the problem is what happens if you want more than one criteria? What happens if you want this criteria and another criteria? And there, there are different scenarios for that. Well, when we've got multiple criteria, there are obviously different um, ways of using those multiple criteria. What happens if we want both criteria to be true or when we want only one or the other criteria to be true and stuff like that. So we're going to look at those situations. The first one is when we want both the criteria to be true at the same time. So in this case, we've got a situation where we want all the data from the CD table where the genre must be pop and at the same time, the replacement value must be greater than 100. So for that to happen, we use the AND clause in between our two different criteria or conditions. So here at the SQL code, we want where the genre equals the word pop. And at the same time, we want the replacement value to be 
greater than 100 if I remember correctly. Okay, let's see what that does. There you can see all of the genres are pop and at the same time the replacement value is greater than 100. If, for example, there was a replacement value that was greater than 100 but it wasn't pop, it does not get included because both conditions must be true. And if there was a condition where it was pop and the value was below 100, the same applies. It will not be displayed here because both conditions must be true for that exact record for it to appear listed here in our filter or our query. Now this example that we just did was we said that both conditions had to be true at the same time. What happens if we wanted it to be either pop or the replacement value had to be greater than 100 or both? It doesn't matter. As long as one of those criteria are true, we are happy. Well, just like as I said, I said the word there, I said the word or. So that's what we're using instead of an and. So we're going to say exactly the same um, query, but instead of having an and, we're going to use an or. Which means that as long as one of the conditions is true, it will be displayed in my query. So as long as genre is pop, it will be displayed. Or if replacement value is greater than 100, it will be displayed. Or if both are correct, then it will be displayed. So going back to this query, we're going to replace the and with an or. And we'll run it this time. And here we will see there are now records which don't have pop as a genre, but we'll notice that those ones do have a replacement value greater than 100. And there should be somewhere it says pop, but it is less than 100. It might take me a while to find them, but I'm pretty sure they, are, they do exist. Maybe they don't, but they all seem like they're above 100. But you get the idea. In this case, both conditions have to, uh, can be true or one or the other. They don't have to both be true for it to only be displayed. That is what the AND is for. So to recap, if you want both conditions to be true, you use the AND. And if you want either one of the conditions to be true, you don't mind as long as one of them is true, you would then use an OR. Now you can also use multiple conditions um, with multiple ORs and ANDs. Now if we look at this scenario over here, we are selecting everything from the CD where genre equals pop or the genre equals rock and the replacement value is greater than 100. Now that's interesting because there's no brackets here, there's nothing that's, now what is that AND and that ORR meaning? Does it mean that it, do, it doesn't matter if it's pop or rock and as long as it's pop or rock and the replacements are greater than 100 or it doesn't matter if it's pop or the only other condition is if it's rock and replacement value greater than 100. So are these two combined together, the two genres, or is the genre and the replacement combined? Well, the correct answer that you need to remember, and the way I remember it, is alphabetical order. The AND comes before the OR in alphabetical order. In other words, the AND gets done first. So this, in this case, it will first look for all the records that have a genre rock and replacement value greater than 100. And once it's displayed all those records, it will then look at all other records that have genre equal to pop. So let's try that. So we've got genre equal to pop or genre equal to rock and replacement value greater than 100. I think that's all correct. Let's run it. There we go. You see there is pop and it doesn't matter. Okay, well, It's very difficult to say. Let's change it a bit and let's make it a smaller value. Uh, instead of smaller value, let's make it a bigger value. Let's say all replacement value greater than 120. So now if we run this scenario, you'll notice that if we look over here, let's go down, there we go, there's 100. So there are some records where pop is less than 120, but it's in this display. Why? Because pop was the genre. But if I look at just the rock, there will be no rock genre which is below 120 because that criteria has grouped that together. It first checks all those that contain rock and the replacement value is greater than 120, displays them, or if the genre is equal to pop. If I wanted it to be either pop or rock and the replacement value must be greater than 20 for all of them, then the way to solve that situation is I must put a bracket around the genre or rock part when I get to the end and then it will do the brackets first then the and. So in this case it will first look for any record with pop or rock and the replacement value greater than 120. 
and in that case you'll find there'll be no records of pop that are below 120 because it's got it's now associated with the and another operator that you can use as well as an and or an or is a not operator and that simply takes whatever the answer is and changes it from true to false so in this case we are saying where there's anything from the CD table where genre is not equal to rock. It's exactly the same as if we had that not equal to sign here. It gives the exact same results, but you can use a not operator if you find the scenarios where you want it. And if you want the complete opposite of that, then you can just put a not in front of those conditions. So let's test that. Yeah, we have that query that we did from the previous video where the genre is not equal to rock. Remember that symbol, shine bright like a diamond, to say not equal to. And there are the results. And we'll see over here, there are 199 records that are not rock. Now, if I change it using the not operator, then all I have to do is put a not in front and change the e not equal to sign to an equal to sign. So all of those records in the CD table where the genre equals to rock, not really the opposite of it. So where genre is not equal to rock. We should get the same results, 199 records. So there you can see those are two exactly the same queries. For part one on SQL, as well as the other parts that we'll be covering with SQL statements, as well as other stuff on Delphi and Delphi programming, please go to our YouTube channel where you can subscribe, leave comments, and follow us on Twitter so you can see whenever we upload, uh, upload new videos to our channel. We'd love to hear from you. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long Way. The examples from today's lesson come from the Grade 12 Delphi eNotes from Study Opportunities. These are available in 2014. In 2015, they'll be releasing a textbook which covers the Grade 12 CAP syllabus with more examples. Um, if your teacher is interested in getting these textbooks, then they can go to the following website.